We have all seen Russians deploying T-54 tanks to the front line. First, we saw them on the trains, where a lot of people were speculating, myself included, on what could happen to those tanks. Then, not too long after that, a video emerged of a Russian guy next to one of those T-54 tanks near the front line, confirming that the tanks have arrived to Ukraine and have not gone through any noticeable changes. So, of course, this raised some questions. Why are Russians now all of a sudden bringing up these very old tanks to the front line without any modifications? Well, it turns out that they are using them as self-propelled guns. There was already a lot of speculation that this will indeed be their intended role, but on the 10th of May, Ukrainian blogger slash tank expert Andrei Tarasenko made a post saying that it has been confirmed by a Russian source that these tanks are being used as mobile artillery pieces. According to him, a company of T-54 tanks have been delivered to the front line, and they have immediately been transferred to the Hovisar division, where crews have been picked from both tank and artillery units, and then trained, or rather retrained, on these tanks for a week. The tank would have three crew members instead of the original four, probably because the actual tank commander is not needed. It is not clear how effective T-54 really is in this role. During the Soviet times, back when this tank was actually in service, crews commonly trained to use the tank in the indirect fire role, and in fact, it is the last tank to feature the indirect fire instructions in the manual. Afterwards, the more modern tanks still retained the indirect fire mode feature, but this was largely neglected until Russia brought it back in the 21st century, where we often see modern tanks, including T-90Ms, engage in indirect fire. Of course, T-54 will not be really good in indirect fire, it will mostly function like a World War II artillery piece, and I mean, the D-10T gun of the T-54 shares a lot of similarities with the BS-3 field gun. Not to mention that the barrels will wear out much faster than on an actual artillery gun, but it is still useful. According to Russian sources, there is still a big stockpile of 100mm ammunition, so that could be the reason for this decision. But I don't know what they will do about the guns, since Russia stopped producing the 100mm guns a long time ago. It is possible that the tanks that have been delivered will be used, and the tanks left in storage will be stripped for spare parts, including guns. But apparently that is not the only role that T-54s will be fulfilling. A couple of days ago a picture of a modified T-54 popped up on the internet. It's a T-54 hull with a S60 57mm autocannon mounted on it. I did speculate in my original video about T-54s that they could convert them to some other vehicles, and it seems like they are doing that. It is completely unknown what this vehicle is going to be used for, or who is using it. All we have for now are two pictures of it. It could be used for anything, anti-air against drones, anti-infantry or against defensive positions, who knows. Anyway, that would be all, if you like my content you can consider supporting me on Patreon. Thanks for watching and I'll see you all in the next video. Have a nice day.